On this video, we're gonna finish up uh, installing our chassis stiffening kit. We got these uh, pieces I bent and uh, shaped, and they're gonna go from the front apron area all the way to the cowl we installed in the last video. Um, if you want to see the subframe part of the chassis stiffening kit, um, we did a floor video where I kind of installed the torque boxes and stuff. But we're going to finish this off. So this is all bent, test fitted, ready to go. Um, I got the weld through primer on and everything. But first, we got to put the brackets right here to get a front strut tower and everything. Not strut tower, chop tower. Um, so we'll go ahead and tack this in place, and then we got these two side brackets that are already pretty much test fit. So let me grab some gloves and we'll weld real quick. Alright, so I had to grind this area down. It kind of stuck out a little bit, but I got my first piece welded on there. It's cooled down. So now we're going to put our two side pieces, we're going to weld them on the bracket and then they're going to follow the um, inner apron. So we'll go ahead and tack them on first and then we'll go ahead and weld them. Alright, now we're on to this last piece, we're going to do the same thing, uh, just weld it right in there. And that's going to give us our support. Alright, we got all these brackets going right here, all welded up. Weld it on. I'd recommend just tack it where you can take it off because we're going to try to make sure the fender fits. They kind of kick up a little bit. So this fits on just like that. Make sure it's all flush in there. So it's a pretty good fit. It's staying on by itself. We'll go ahead and tack it, make sure it's lifted up a little more. So we're going to put just three tacks, just in case it doesn't fit on, we can pull it off again. We got three tacks and you can see how that's on there. Now let's test fit the fender, make sure it's going to work because what I'm worried about is how this comes up. Um, we just want to make sure it doesn't hit. It's going to be about where this bracket is right here. So let's put this on. And you'll see in another video this fender it needs a lot of work, so that will probably be the next video where we go ahead and work on this thing. Yep, what I thought, we're going to have to cut. If you come around over here and look up under that fender, you'll see where we're going to have to cut. You can see that fender bracket right there is resting right on it. So we'll take about a quarter inch, half inch. Um, I'm going to mark it with a marker. We're going to cut it. And we'll just grind it out. We'll retest fit the fender, make sure it bolts on, sits down properly. And at one sense, how that is, We'll go ahead and weld that whole thing on. But looking at it, this is going to work. Like I said, we'll slightly modify the fender 
and uh, we should be good. So hopefully next step we'll start welding. So we got the whole piece tacked in. Um, I modified the fender, like I said, I cut a little bit out of it. Um, I also decided to cut this corner down just an eight quarter of an inch and then hammer it back down just to get to fit a little better. Um, both of them, I didn't want to take any more off the fender. So let's go ahead and weld this in and uh, I'll show you. We're going to want to get mostly welded in. We're going to take uh, the frame machine and push up here. There's a gap between the two pieces. So I'm going to mostly finish welding this in. We'll take the frame bender, push up here, tack that, and then weld that. And uh, the chassis stiffening kit is complete. All right, let's get to it. Right now I got the front fender support brackets welded on on this chassis stiffening kit. Now we're going to move on to the radio support. I got these two brackets right here. Um, kind of looking at pictures online, it looks like you can mount it right over the factory stuff that's there. What I decided to do was I'm going to go ahead and cut out the lower radio support, the factory one in the car, um, where this is going to weld in. I think it's going to look a lot cleaner when you don't see something just randomly put over another um, piece of metal. Um, that's what I did and I'll show you later in the video on the fender brackets. I took out the factory uh, support brackets there because realistically with this metal, they're the eighth inch metal, they're not doing anything, you know, um, so it just gets in the way. So we're going to do the same thing in the radio support. We're going to cut all that out. I also added this crossbar. This was leftover scrap when I was doing the torque boxes to the front frame rails. It's overkill and this car's not moving but for an extra five minutes of welding it on, taking it off and cleaning it up again, it just gives me that peace of mind that it's not a big deal. So we got this on there, I'll go cut out this bottom, we'll get it cleaned up and then we'll go ahead and weld this on there. Uh, what I'm going to do, I'm going to probably cut down, there's a strip along the top and that's going to allow this lip right here to slide up behind that lip out front. I want to keep these brackets with this bracket on the top with the holes because this one doesn't have it and what that's going to allow me to do that whatever goes in there I'm not quite sure I didn't pull this car apart we got it in pieces but those holes are there for a reason I want to keep them there uh, the rest of this bracket has nothing but the center two holes and it's here on this piece too so whatever happens there I should be able to just you know replace it with that part right there so um, and actually I might take those two holes out and put them in this bracket too just to be sure. We'll see. Um, I'll do some research to find out exactly what they are but uh, stay tuned and we'll see what we got. So the main thing with this process is just come up with a plan. Don't start cutting. I, I looked at this thing for you know five ten minutes to make sure I knew where to cut. Um, I also pre-drilled the side uh, factory spot welds so you'll see in a minute when I get it out it just pops right out. It's cleaned up now, and what we're doing, we're test fitting the front um, radiator support bracket. What it is, the back looks like it welds underneath in the middle of the front one. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to tack the back one as a reference, pull the front one off here, and then I'm welding in the back completely. And then in a second, we'll go ahead and put the front one back on and get that one also welded in completely. All right, the frame stiffening kit in the front for the fenders and everything is complete. We'll clean it up a little bit more when it gets on the rotisserie, but you can see it, how it connects in there. Looks pretty good. It's gonna make this car a lot stronger. The front, welded that all in. Come out pretty good. I welded down the center of it. 
and I left that lip, like I said, on top. I gotta clean it up a little bit, but that's it right there. There's the side, driver's side, frame stiffening to the front suspension. So there it is. You can see I had to clean up the penetration through the firewall. And there was a couple other patches we had to do over here, there, down on the frame rail, and the battery tray area. So there it is. Another patch up there on the radiator support. Car will be a lot stronger. It obviously won't be stocked, but the rear ones will be covered up by the fenders.